but let us talk about the markets itself and some important market opinion that has come in from our exclusive chat with market veteran Ramdev Agarwal of Motilal Oswal Financial Services. So, we asked him about the technology stocks and what exactly could the AI disruption mean for traditional IT players. Let us listen in. Technology. Now, uh, technology has lots of different ramifications. One is the you know, traditional technology, your Infosys, TCS type of businesses. Then there is the new age internet type of companies. And I, I know that in your PMS, you own some of them. I think Zomato is a pretty big holding for you folks. Uh, and then there is there are the likes of the, the fintech, right, where payments and banking and technology come together, the likes of Paytm. Uh, so, in this universe, what are you most bullish on? See, the largest segment is the classical services companies. They are right now a little slow after mm -hmm. an immediate burst of uh, uh, post-COVID. Yeah. There were a lot of uh, thought process that everything will be working yeah. from distance and everything will be automated and mm -hmm. things like that. And mm -hmm. a lot of projects came there and mm -hmm. and right now they are going through a little slow phase. So, this is the, now it depends on how well you understand what is going to be the longer term future. Mm -hmm. Is the AI going to cut their uh, number of jobs or are they going to be new source of, apart from other sources, yeah. this is also going to be new source of businesses. Sure. That has what has happened. Yeah. Layer after layer, I have seen when they started, it was more of a stopping services mm. in between 95 to 2000. Yeah. 2000 onwards, then dot com boom started. Mm. Then ERP boom started. Mm. Then uh, all kinds of things keep coming. Cloud happened, uh, digital transformation happened. Then digital happened. transformation yeah, happened. Yeah, yeah. And now AI transformation is there. Yeah. So, all those things are still on. On mm. top of it, AI transformation has come. Yeah. So, I think the opportunity size is growing. Mm. Every business has to recalibrate sure. and uh, reconfigure and come back. Mm. I don't have any doubts mm. that some of, some of the companies will fall by the wayside if they're not able to change. Mm. But the ones who are able to change and go on to the ma mainstream mm. of AI adoption and uh, facilitating the companies or mm. clients, uh, adopting more and more and exploiting the uh, AI potential, they will do very well. But Maybe it is early stage. Okay. Okay. And and the internet company, some of them yeah, that, so that internet you like. Companies, see, internet yeah. driven, internet on the back of any business, say like mm -hmm. uh, all this grocery delivery or food delivery, yeah. I mean, the yeah. digital engine which has been put, or on the pay t uh, uh, payment mechanism, yeah. you have digital, you have fintechs, you have uh, uh, online uh, uh, digital insurance companies, mm -hmm. digital banks are coming. So, digital is going all over. Mm -hmm. So, you have to be, see, anything goes digital, and if it is successful mm -hmm. in making money, so far, the Which problem some of them have now started doing. Yeah. So, the point is that actually our broking industry mm. is the most digital. Mm. Right from onboarding to uh, fulfillment, everything is digital. And that's why you're doing 5 lakh crore, 500 lakh crores per day turnover. Yeah. And that to T plus settlement. Mm. And SEBI is promising T plus zero. Mm. You imagine nowhere in the world it is possible mm. Mm. unless it is digital. So, we are most digitized, uh, successful digital business mm. and growing like crazy. So, uh, clearly, you have to see where exactly the uh, positive impact of digital is there. Yeah. And obviously, when there is a positive effect, there are some people who are not able to adopt and there is a negative effect. Hmm. So, you have, to be, uh, you have to be siding with the people who are able to adopt and exploit the power of technology.